Vasanta Samara Singha, the convener of the Voice Against Corruption organization, convened a media briefing today. FCID ke pradanya. In December 2016, the head of the FCID makes a visit to Hong Kong to gather information for the investigations taking place over financial fraud that had taken place here in Sri Lanka. The information relates to 22 million US dollars in an account with HSBC, the details of a company and its board of directors and information about the money. This is not a small account. The account has 3,740 million rupees in it. The money did not come from thin air. These monies are the commissions generated from the deal struck by the Rajapaksa family regime. These are the bribes of those deals. The New York Times exposed the $7.6 million given by a Chinese company. We are in possession of the bank account as well. We have information on the board of directors and the link to the Rajapaksa family as well as the amount of money in the accounts. The date here is listed as the 20th of December. What I have in my hand is a copy of the account balance sheet. This was brought to Sri Lanka by Ravi Vaidya Lankara. It's been two years since it was brought to the country. Using the Right to Information Act, we questioned what action was taken against those linked to the 22 million US dollars. We have not received a response as yet. The company is called Red Ruth Investments. It has a DVI account. It is in the British Virgin Islands. There are three directors for this company. Two of them are Chinese. One of them is Sri Lankan. Who is this person? After Mahindra Rajapaksa's defeat at the presidential election on the 9th of January 2015, Rane Vikramasinghe takes another person along with him to meet Mahindra Rajapaksa. What we have here are the details of the Rajapaksa family finances with accounts in Dubai, China and other countries including Hong Kong. This person worked relating to those accounts. This here is the money of the Rajapaksa family. There are many more accounts. There is a World Diamond Service account with the Hong Kong Bank. Money was sent from the account of Red Ruth. It contains around $32,000. There is another one called Sinscreen Enterprises. It contains $44,000. Another in the Sinscreen Enterprise Group worth $7,140. US There is another called Hafsa Traders. The account was closed on the 25th of December 2015. The reason is because the money that came from the account have been transferred to accounts that were opened from the Hong Kong Shanghai Bank. Some are DVI accounts. After the information was brought to Sri Lanka, President Maitri Pala Sirisena, Rani Vikramasinghe, the Inspector General of Police, the Minister in Charge of the Police were aware of this. US representatives came here for the investigations. The US team was here to support the investigation. They met with Rajit Sena Ratna and informed him cases need to be filed in Hong Kong and measures need to be taken to recover the money. Why are these matters not being investigated and why is it being delayed? Measures need to be taken to bring the 22 million US dollars in Hong Kong to the country. The law needs to be enforced on the evidence gathered from Hong Kong. If not, the people need to know why the investigations are swept under the carpet. They can uncover if this belongs to Basil Rajapaksa, another Rajapaksa or anyone else in the family. They are not investigating it because these matters are being used as political tools.